Jesse's not on yet, so uh, how many of these things have you uh, you think Jesse's never eaten? Oh, oh. like half of them. Out uh, of you mean, 16, you're you mean, saying eight? Do you, mean, do, you mean, do you mean on the pizza? On a pizza, or, yeah. On a pizza? Oh, I bet he's only had like three of these toppings on a pizza. <laughs> right? I'm ready for... Well, I haven't but had any pizza. Jesse straight I've, up I've, says all the time that he only wants cheese on pizza. I, for real, I think we should take bets as to how many of these Jesse's had. John, you're saying he is... I, I how many think, he's not had? I think he has only eaten three of these toppings on a pizza <laughs> do you want to venture to say which ones uh, i'm not uh, so i'm not gonna count extra cheese okay Here's right right so out of, okay. let's okay. say out of 15 uh, you're so saying I say, he's, i say he's, he has eaten pepperoni on his pizza uh-huh. i say well he probably tried pineapple on his pizza when we were together right i was gonna yeah. say i think he ate the the pineapple pe- pepperoni so, so pineapple and then i'm gonna say sausage Okay, I'm what? going to say he's had at least six of these. Ooh, man, okay. But that's including extra cheese? No, no, no none of our estimates are going to include extra cheese. So out of 15, I'm going to say he's had six. Colin, what about you? Uh, I'm going to say yes to sausage, yes to bacon, yes to pepperoni, yes to ham, yes to hamburger, chicken, and pineapple. So I guess six or seven, right? That's actually eight. All right, we're doing this. Welcome to Bracket, the only show where we take a bunch of shit, face it off against another bunch of shit, and see what the best shit really is. I'm your host, Cullen Jennings, and joining me today is John Abbott. Hey, it's me. I'm John. I'm I'm hella ill, and it's up to you to decide if that means I'm cool or if I don't feel good. <laughs> All right, and don't forget about Jesse Knowles. Hey, I'm Jesse, and uh, did someone order this pizza with extra sausage? Oh, uh, uh, and and Emmy nominated creator of the Boston style pizza, Greg L. Mercer. Hi, I'm Greg L. Mercer. Everybody knows Boston style pizza, pepperoni and pineapple, it's classic. <laughs> and this week, guys, we have a very super special guest. We have Andrew WK. Uh, hello there. It is Andrew here, and I'm very pleased to be joining uh, Bracket and uh, looking for a party. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eating a pizza. A pizza party. It is. It's officially yeah. a pizza party, and that's one of the best kinds of parties. Uh, any party is immediately enhanced by pizza, and any pizza is immediately enhanced by partying. <laughs> there, it is. there it is. You heard it. On Bracket. There it is. It's locked. So, like we said, guys, we're going into pizza, but we're going to do pizza topping first before we go into a bunch of different pizzas. So, right away in round one in group A, we got sausage versus extra cheese. In group B, we have olives versus spinach. In group C, we've got chicken versus pineapple. In group D, we have green peppers versus onions. In group E, we have bacon versus mushrooms. Group F, banana peppers versus ham. In group G, we've got ground beef versus tomatoes. And in group H, we have pepperoni versus anchovies. So, right away round one group a sausage versus extra cheese who cares to take a stab at it uh and also worth pointing out that uh me john yours truly is in the hot seat this week oh yes yes john is having to vote first and he cannot change his vote hot seat john this week uh, That's so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and sway you up front extra cheese we've had a lot of discussion before the show about this as to whether a just cheese pizza would fall under the entry of extra cheese i don't think so see i i think i think you have to i think you have to take into consideration just cheese because there's always somebody i'm looking at you jesse who Mm -hmm. will raise their hand and say can i get a pizza with just cheese and i think that's fine but i think it has to be recognized that that's that's what's out there yeah i mean Vulcan, he preferred a cheese pizza it's true true i i yeah yeah yeah. that is true i I remember watching that movie and thinking oh why does he only get cheese and (laughs) at the time i was like a snobby little kid too and i only got pepperoni so i was like ew but you always get cheese anyway we are saying that a pizza automatically the toppings sauce for example marinara sauce pizza sauce and cheese those are given yes yes yes, yes. yes. those are given on this pizza and then we're getting extra cheese for this one okay yeah Yeah. maybe like different kinds of cheese or something. Yeah, see, that's the thing. You could get like a five cheese little... pizza, and yeah, that's a whole like different a, level of things. So like, get like a triple blend cheese going on. That's nothing wrong with that. 
I yeah. will say the the thing that is in favor of extra cheese. I've several times in my life attempted to go vegetarian. The cheese pizza is pretty much the pinnacle of a vegetarian <laughs> diet. That's true. For me, I'm somewhat infamously the, a very picky eater. Um, I don't like mixing a lot of ingredients with my food, and so I only. I mean, I'll I'll get a couple of toppings with pizza, but for the most part, I eat just cheese, and I don't really get a lot of value out of something like a sausage on a pizza. Whereas pizza with only cheese, like that, has a very distinct flavor to me, and I prefer I, that. Jesse, I'm gonna, can I uh, ask, have you had sausage on a pizza before? Oh yeah, I've had I've had sausage on a okay. pizza. I've had chicken. I've had pepperoni. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, here, yeah. here's the thing. Sausage, th there's two kinds of sausage. There's like the little ball sausage a lot of times, but there's also sometimes like some really good sliced sausage that's like chorizo or like something like really, really nice. Well, look, and I, 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 I have reached a decision on where I'm going to vote on this. Sure. Okay, John, uh, you, you can go ahead. I'm going to vote extra cheese because, Colin, you pointed out what I hate about, like, I got no problem with sausage, but sausage on pizza a lot of times, it's just, let me, I'll be frank here, audience, it looks like just a bunch of little poop poops on a pizza and i don't want poops on my pizza oh man I'm see i heard like, it here from frank <laughs> <laughs> i think i think something like i think like something like a really nice sausage instead of like the normal sausage ball i think is like really delicious on a pizza i'm gonna go sausage I'm going to go extra cheese uh, because I think John's right. It's a, it's, you've said this as well. It's a total crapshoot as to whether you're getting good sausage or like stuff that was in a freezer for two years. So. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a slice of like che extra cheese or just like cheese in general of, on pizza where I thought this is bad pizza at the, at the, like at the very least I'll think, well, I can eat this. Uh, versus like I've had I've had sausage on a pizza and it's like I just don't I just don't just pick it off I <laughs> yeah. do that's what that's, I do that's true that's the answer to your just cheese uh, pre Penumbra. preference Jesse is just pick off the toppings oh yeah don't worry I do that plenty uh, <laughs> if it isn't obvious I'm an extra cheese vote all right Andrew well I thought long and hard about this and I, I actually did appreciate some of the um, detailed explanations and discussion before we made the votes because. Uh, if extra cheese can, in fact, include a multi-cheese blend like a Romano, a Parmesan, a cheddar, right. uh, you know, even a feta cheese, any of those could count technically as extra cheese. For example, I have really enjoyed pizzas where the extra cheese on top of the mozzarella was feta, for example. Yeah, or, you get those big, yeah. like, circles of feta cheese. Yeah, or goat cheese. I think you might be thinking of goat yep. cheese in circles. Yeah. Uh, I've had, yeah. I do like sausage very, very much, um, but I will go just because of the flexibility, the world of other flavors that all these cheeses can bring in, I've got to go with the extra cheese too. All right. So that's extra cheese knocking out sausage four to one. Oh, poor sausage. Uh, <laughs> group B, olives versus spinach. Oh, boy. What is there to say about <laughs> <laughs> this? is like the stuff that your parents make you eat when you're a kid well, and that you don't want to eat. And... Okay. I'll be, I'll be frank with you. Uh, hey, Frank. I, I, Jesus. I. <laughs> I don't mind spinach on pizza. I think I, I think spinach goes super well with like a nice tomato sauce. Like uh but like I mean I think you're not ordering from like you're not going to order from a de delivery place and get spinach a lot I think I think that's you you go to a nice like local pizza joint like a, like a wood fi like a wood fire kitchen kind of yeah. thing yeah, yeah. I mean take your pick you know whatever hole in the wall local pizza place you love I bet they've got some great like specialty pizzas that have spinach laid all over that sucker uh but man I cannot stand an olive I'm sorry I'm a spinach <laughs> vote I'm also a spinach vote we should get the oil out of those olives and throw Throw them away because they're trash. Well, I, 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 can I chime in with this? No, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, I'm in, yeah. I mean, my feelings are with spinach, as with tomatoes, which we'll be getting to later. Obviously, um, some of these vegetables they bring with them a lot of water, and it's going to change the entire constitution of that pizza if the vegetable is not dried out enough or not cooked in a way that compensates for all this extra moisture. Mm -hmm. So, the, the spinach, when it's dried out uh, enough, meaning it's been steamed and in the process of cooking, it's not retaining lots and lots of that moisture. It can work. It can be great. With olives, we have to specify here because there could be Greek olives. That's Greek true. It could be Katamala, Katamala olives. I, I think, yeah. I, when I think black of olives on a olives. pizza, I think I usually think of black olives. Yeah. yeah. You, you will, but you'd be surprised. I've ordered olives and they've come green olives. Now, I think green olives, assuming most of these are going to be canned, they're much saltier than the black yes. olives. 
Uh, and, and this is a territory that many people uh, feel very strongly about with pizzas. How salty is it going to get? How salt? It's already salty. How much more salty can can it possibly be until all you taste is salt? <laughs> it's just so, a big salt pile. It really is. And with those green olives, and I've tried it, 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 it was starting to, to venture into inedible, especially if there's anchovy and things like that as well. So I'm going to say just because of uh, the, the, the salt concern that as, as much as I love, especially a black olive on pizza for the texture and the look of it, um, I'm going to go with spinach. Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump in right with you. I, I'm a spinach guy on that. I'm not a big spinach dip fan. I'm not a big spinach pretty much anything oh, else. I, like, I like a spinach uh, dip. But, I, uh, but uh, for, as far as pizza goes, you're right. If you can find a good spinach pizza, I'm all in. So. Jesse, that is, that is, that is, make it sweet, uh, Jesse. You know, I don't really have any strong feelings of either, on either of these, but I could have probably... Have you had eat... either one of these on a pizza? No, no. Uh, okay. But I could see myself liking spinach on a pizza more. So. Okay. Nice. That's a spinach sweet. sweep. Colin, can I say one thing? Thing. Yeah, I want to uh, just a slight comment uh, as a sidebar. I have a pizza guitar, a guitar that's made into a, a slice yes, of a pizza, yes, and the do. toppings. There are black olives on that pizza. Um, yeah, but I you know, you um, you because, said Andrew how like you like the look of black olives on a pizza and i do agree when i think of like the iconic image of a pizza in my head olives are one of those toppings that stand out on it i, I agree and I, i'm happy to hear you uh feel see that too because pizza <laughs> is such a visual thing it, it really is a beautiful colorful uh tantalizing looking <laughs> food so the painting yeah. of of food it really is. And spinach, to be quite honest, it isn't that interesting looking. No, it's not. It's not. It's good, but it's not that interesting looking. I don't even so. think I could have represented spinach in a painterly way <laughs> on that guitar. No one would right. have like green slime. No one would know what it was. <laughs> right. Well, I guess that means spinach knocks out olives five to nothing. Moving on. We got chicken versus pineapple. This is a very interesting matchup. Yeah, right. I, someone I, describe what pineapple does to a pizza. Pineapple of- does an amazing thing to a pizza. You've got so you've got you've got this cheese and and this sauce and this bread. You've got these like very you know you get starchy and 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 like savory flavors. You dump a few little pineapples on there. You got the sweet. It combines together. It's beautiful. It's beautiful music playing in your mouth. <laughs> it's got a little <laughs> bit of that bitterness, acidic taste to it that yeah, works really well and that that that. Mix- Mixes with that tomato sauce that I think has a lot of like uh, a lot of uh, I'm trying to think of like it just it just mixes very well. This is the most upscale our show has ever been. <laughs> <laughs> we sound like Mario Vitale right hey, now. Hey, that's because pizza is amazing. Pizza is the greatest thing mankind ever invented. I, I totally agree that like pineapple really brings out the citric flavor in the tomato and it makes everything a little bit sweeter when it's already a, a very salty dish and kind of fatty. It cuts through a lot of that um chicken especially barbecue chicken barbecue totally chicken. changes See, a pizza buffalo chicken would be my go-to that's also a good one See, it, that's also my thing is that like pineapple is sort of like a to me i i haven't tried pineapple on a on a on a pizza but oh my god uh, but i have eaten chicken on a pizza and like i know my habits with chicken i'll eat chicken on pretty much anything and i mean for you, someone can get, who's, you can get like grilled chicken on a pizza and i think that i think it's just too dry i think it's just i, I think grilled chicken might be i think if it's marinated into sauce or like covered in sauce i think it usually rebounds pretty well on that yeah it depends how how close the chicken is to the surface in that oven if it's buried under cheese or there's other toppings there i i've experimented there was a time around uh fourth grade when i was obsessed with pineapple pizza i never i I think (laughs) i ordered it almost as a joke because it just seemed crazy that such a thing could exist i loved canned pineapple i ate pineapple out of a can all the time and it was very exciting. And then something happened uh, not even that long ago where I really became appalled, uh, very repelled by oh, no. sweet and savory food in general. Cheese on apple pie, prosciutto and melon, uh, pineapple <laughs> on pizza. I, 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 would, I would happily eat a bite of pizza and then have some pineapple out of a can <laughs> right afterwards. But the crossing over, I, I, you were mentioning earlier this purist approach <laughs> food. I don't like to mix too many things. And now I'm just not into pineapple anymore wow 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 okay. uh, john i know up front where your vote is 
I'm a, I'm a pineapple vote. I and here's the thing I want to say. I recommend pineapple to people on pizza, and it and I always have to tell them don't just get a Hawaiian pizza because I honestly don't think that ham is the good pairing for it. Right. I, I th- you I, gotta I think, get it Boston style. I, yeah, I think pepperoni is the good pairing for pineapple. Spread the word. Got a little bit more of that spice you're looking. Yeah, you get yes. that pee pee. But yeah. yes, I am a pineapple vote. I am a pineapple vote as well. I'm voting chicken, and, I, and I, I will say that I think that chicken is a fantastic pizza topping that adds a lot of protein and a lot of meal, like a meal factor. That's very true. To what otherwise can feel a little hollow. You know, it, it creates an entree effect. You don't feel like eating too many slices of pizza. You'll have one or you'll have two or three, and you'll be like, "All right, I'm done." That's true. I mean, it adds a uh, it's more food. It's dense. You're not going to get small little bits. It's usually a big chunk. You can probably fit, you know, a whole chicken breast on one slice of pizza. <laughs> and I would definitely say that. Ch- chicken just as a topping like you could put chicken in a lot of meals and make it okay i don't know if you can put pineapple in a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> that's what that's what i was just thinking like the thing is like every time i eat pineapple pizza it's either a hawaiian or with pepperoni the boston style i like there's always something with it like that makes it a little bit different oh, so if i'm just getting pizza alone i'll i'll just get pizza on it or just pineapple just, on it i'll just get pizza on pizza <laughs> yeah oh, I'll get, I will order make one pizza, pizza please and stack <laughs> on top of the other <laughs> I think that's just uh, a calzone. Jesse, where's Jesse? Where? <laughs> yeah, right. Jesse, what's your vote? I, you know, it's 2015. I probably should vote pineapple, but I'm a chicken vote. Uh oh. Oh, wait, you put it on me? That was terrible. Oh, uh, don't. It's tied up, Colin. I, I'm sorry, Jesse Colin? and Andrew. I gotta be a pineapple vote. <laughs> I gotta be. It's uh, not a surprise. Most people are very passionate about this. I've many met many people whose favorite pizza is just cheese and pineapple. I, I, I just can't. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> right, right. Uh, All real right. quick, I before we move on, now. Jesse, have hey. you, which of those have you had on pizza before? <laughs> chicken or pineapple? Uh, chicken. Okay, just keep a note. As <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, pineapple knocks out chicken three to two. We got green peppers versus onions. Oh boy! All right, so, right uh, out the gate here. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the flag oh, real oh, this, quick. On this disaster zone. I am as a kid. My, my every every Friday night we used to get Pizza Hut pizza. We used to get one pepperoni and cheese for like me and my dad and everybody else in the house, and then the rest of it they would get a supreme. I hate the texture of green mm-hmm. peppers and I. I do not think that they bring a lot to the table in cooking. I can verify this from a thousand different places I've cooked, or a thousand different people that have cooked different dishes. I don't think green peppers bring a lot to other than texture. However, onions, I can't stand the texture either. Oh, man. And I think when you cook onions and things, I think the taste of onions mixed with things works well, except for like in a pizza when it cooks really well, I'm okay with it until I bite down on that slimy little half worm and <laughs> and it's an onion, and it creeps me out, and I can't take it. So that's well, where my know, rant is. Like, I know your favorite thing is a worm pizza. <laughs> worm pizza is uh, my favorite. Man, I couldn't be farther from Colin on this. I think both of these are fine. I like. I, I think a lot of meals taste good when you put green peppers and onions in them. Uh, I... Uh, Hey, here's the thing. Uh, I mean, I'm gl- like pizzas don't usually have raw onion on them, right? It's usually cooked. Yeah, well, it cooks in it, the process. Right, right, right. And a lot of the times, like I know it, like a at Papa John's, and I'm not sure about it, a lot of other places, but I know Papa John's they put it underneath the cheese. Do 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 they ever get like uh like like grilled onions on a pizza? Because yes, you can, and sometimes sweet grilled onions. Yeah, because that's that's where the magic a is. Sweet that's, grilled that's, onions does. Sound- Sound pretty good. But like, those are going to be very slimy, Colin. They really would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they're a little like worms, a little like crispy worms. It's, it's all caramelizing with it. the sugars caramelized. I, they're I, my. I agree that they're very complementary toppings to each other, and in my opinion, on any savory dish, any savory food will work well. I'm actually not that big a fan of green peppers, um, although I think they're very fragrant. I notice if you open a pizza box, a brand new box, there's that hot cardboard smell, and then out <laughs> of that comes this onion and pepper smell of a pizza supreme that to me says pizza almost as much as the marinara smell 
Yeah, um, the, yeah. I totally, I totally get that smell. The, the green pepper has an aroma that's really, really great. I just think it's all texture. I don't think it has any flavor to it. That could be, but sometimes that aroma and texture is going to be as much a part of the eating experience, and maybe that's fine to not have to taste it so much in favor of being able to taste the cheese and the sauce and the dough. Right. I right. think I think maybe I'm the green pepper of bracket. I'm all texture and aroma, but no <laughs> substance. Uh, <laughs> Where is your vote, John? I'm gonna. This is tough. I think both of these are fine. I, I. It's the kind of topping that I don't know if I would ask for very much, but if someone else is getting them on, I'd say like, yeah, sure, man, go ahead, I'll eat some of that. I, I think I'm gonna give a vote to green peppers. Wow. Uh, I'm I'm gonna come in here. I think green peppers are the war crimes of pizza. I yes. think they should be kept out of all food. I think they how, are. How is that your nasty. reaction to green peppers and not like olives? I think olives are are. I don't like olives either. Oh boy. I think okay. I don't like green peppers in anything. I go to Chipotle. I Thank look at the you. fajita veggies. I'm like, oh man, some onion would be great in this. But there's all these nasty green peppers. Uh, well, they taste so fine. They taste fine. I'm an onion vote for sure. I vote onion as well. It's one of my favorite toppings uh, in anything, uh, especially pizza, despite the fact that I can barely eat onion because it gives me such bad uh, acid reflux. Oh, wow. But if it's cooked well as it tends to be in a pizza, uh, I think it's fantastic. I have no um, problems. I Here's my hot take, fresh out <laughs> the oven and ready for you in 30 minutes or less or your order is free. <laughs> okay. Uh, I do not like onions at all. Okay. Uh I, I mean, I've had onions in dishes, and I but like if I something about onions just repulses so, me. So you're yeah, on my big side, green right? Pepper fan, Jesse, I'm coming a, on over I, with me. I don't know come if I'm a over, green Jesse. pepper fan, so come, I'm going to vote on over green to those because it's not repulsive to me. Come on over to those <laughs> green shores. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock it in as an onion vote. I don't Thank like you. them; they're slimy. But grilled onions do rule, and. Uh, and onion rings. That's just because I haven't had onion rings <laughs> on a pizza yet, but I'm gonna try that as soon I as I bet you could get an onion healed. ring pizza somewhere. I'll eat an onion ring pizza. They they do. They break up though, and they're hard to bite through. That's that's a challenge with some oh, of these toppings. Sure. You try sure. to bite, and you end up pulling off the entire onion ring in one chew. All right, All right, I got so you. I got you. Pizza, right. but the crust is made of onion rings. Stack Perfect. Oh, there we Perfect. go. Wow. Yeah. I you just changed the game. <laughs> <laughs> Next on uh, Pizza Hut's menu is that. Uh, so thank you, Jesse. Uh, onion onions takes out green peppers three to two. We got bacon versus mushrooms. Oh boy! I so I uh, like I said before, like I, I usually eat my oh. pizza with uh, only cheese. But there was one topping that I really, really liked as a kid, and I have always liked since. And it's the one topping I can go to that I will eat as much as cheese, and that's mushrooms. And oh. apparently, that's uncommon. Yes. Uh, so because... John, you're already out of the running because Jesse's had four. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Jesse. Uh, we got a little bet going on backstage. Oh, great. Um, uh, I mean, I think mushrooms, I, I think it's, mushrooms can be a hit or miss thing on a lot of stuff, but I think if there's somewhere you're gonna have mushrooms, pizza is a totally fine place to have mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and bacon's one of those weird things too, where like, you could get some really good bacon on a pizza, but you could also just get like, those like bad fake Bad like, bacon, bacon is the stuff. worst. And, and here's the thing, my whole thing with bacon, and I've probably said this on an episode of this show somehow before, I think I like bacon. I like having bacon for breakfast with my meals, but having bacon on like a sandwich or something like that, I bite into it and all I taste is bacon. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very powerful. And I don't want that. I want to taste a medley of flavors in my pizza. So I'm going to lock in early for a mushrooms vote. Uh, oh. Mushroom, easily one of the most divisive foods like in existence. Uh, people either seem to be pretty into mushrooms or absolutely can't have them. Uh, not yeah. the not not the mushrooms' fault, but I I just I can't do it. So I'm a bacon vote. Yeah, it seems, I like it how seems the, like, I like I how you're being the... courteous to the mushroom, not the mushrooms' <laughs> fault. No, no, I, I, I think, think, I think it's fine, wrong. but I think the mushroom would respect. <laughs> his opinion on it i i, right. I don't so, think he was rude about it i don't know if it's like is it the flavor that people don't like about mushrooms or is it the texture to me it's like the it, texture it could be either one yeah I, think. I could see it being i could see some people trying to eat a mushroom and thinking this is like slimy and yeah i don't want anything that's like chewy on my pizzas i feel like ah. mushrooms have a chew to them i don't like they're the steak of vegetables in a way <laughs> okay very true. i like yeah, that yeah, yeah. Have a, oh. i mean a portobello we've all had portobello burgers yeah, yeah. at one point they they 
they do have a tenderness. I, I, it's odd. I never remembered this until we're talking about it now, but going to sleepovers at birthday parties at school events, it was extraordinarily common. Now, maybe this is just a, a Michigan thing, but among the pepperoni pizza, the plain cheese pizza, there was always a mushroom pizza, just yep. mushroom and cheese. It was a very standard order. And I don't think it was done out of consideration for vegetarians necessarily. It, that was just sort of the go-to default pizza besides cheese or pepperoni. So I'm, I'm voting mushroom. Uh, I, I'm I, also I, a mushroom vote. Oh, oh man. Wow. Okay. Sorry, uh, Colin. He, here's the thing. I th- I'm definitely I'm gonna be a bacon vote. I have no issues with mushrooms, uh, but I, I think I think the meat in the bacon. I think that gets overglossed. Yeah, it's like bacon, bacon, bacon. I get it, but I still think bacon crumbled up on a pizza rules. So, I, man, I gotta tell you, I'm I I'm excited that we kicked bacon to the uh, curb. I think it's time that mushrooms get a chance in the spotlight. Uh, mushrooms knock out bacon three to two. Wow. We got, we got banana peppers versus ham. So I know I went hard in the paint against green peppers. Banana peppers, not really a problem for me. They're usually uh, a little more acidic because they're canned. Uh, they're pickled, usually. They, this, they they got a zing to them. I don't mind. They're not that crisp. Yeah. So describe the taste of banana peppers to me. It's, it's not it's, like a banana. Don't be fooled. Yeah. It's, got a little, it's got a little heat to it, uh, but not like a hot, hot heat. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not as bad as like a jalapeno. It's more no. sour. It's kind of sour. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it, it, it feels like, like it's this. almost, yeah, uh, they're not bad at all. I, I don't know if I can say they're better than ham. Right. It's vinegary. Uh, it's, 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 it makes you twist your face up just a little bit. Um, <laughs> ham is very gentle. You know, it, it's like the softer bacon, which is yeah. why, of course, uh, there's always the debate about whether a Hawaiian pizza should be, well, now a Boston style with, the pepperoni, <laughs> but you know, is it Canadian bacon? Is it regular bacon? Is it ham? They all are working in a similar pork, salty, area i think with 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 ham you don't end up tasting very much it's more again texture you might smell it when you open the box but it gets lost and just turns into salt banana peppers though every time you get one of those in a bite that's going to be a pop that's really going to explode i've got to go banana peppers one of my favorite toppings actually Uh, Um, oh wow I, uh, you know, I, I'm, I, I don't, I, I don't really have strong feelings for either one of these. I don't, I, these are not two toppings I would ask for on a pizza, but I, here's the thing. I think almost everything in this list we've got, I would, like, I love pizza so much that I would, I will eat almost any topping on a pizza. I think I would probably try to pick off olives, and I've actually never tried anchovies, spoiler for a future round, but, uh, so I'll eat either one of these, but honestly, Andrew kind of sold me with his description of those peppers popping when you take a bite. So I'm going to go banana peppers. Yes. Uh, I'll, 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 uh, since I think that's banana pepper win right there. I, I think I'll just go ham. I, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I have no, I have no idea what banana peppers taste like. I don't have any strong feelings for ham. I kind of dislike do you, it. Do you like ham part. on pizza or? No, not really. I don't even, I don't really even go out of my way to eat ham unless it's pretty good ham. And then even then I could take it or leave it. So, uh, I'll be a ham vote just because I don't know what banana pe- peppers taste like. It doesn't uh, sound like I'd like them, but. Jesse's, Jesse's like our little, our little ham on the show. Our little, <laughs> our little ham. He's a little salty. Like, Jesse's like, little, little ham. A little ham? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what they call me, Brackett's Little Piggy. <laughs> Uh, I, it's two to two. It's down to me. Um, gosh, it's actually really tough. I, I would never go out of my way to have ham on a pizza. If someone I, ordered yeah. a meat lover's pizza, I'd be it's like, on oh, there. yeah, why not? I think the ham complements a meat lover's pizza incredibly well. Right. But I don't, I don't know if there's any other context where you should really have ham on a pizza. Banana peppers, it's tough because it, that depends on whether it's cooked in or if it's added on afterward. Um, but in terms of unique flavor, there's nothing else like it on this is list. It, I'm going to go banana peppers. Is it, safe to, is it safe to say that like for most of these toppings, you want them like baked in and not yeah, just you want them top? during the bake, I think. I, I agree. I totally agree. And there, you know, it's, there are places, I, in Canada, for example, they quite frequently are a fan of putting on toppings, not necessarily later in the game, but definitely on top of the cheese. And oh, okay. It definitely changes things. And with the banana peppers, again, they're watery. I mean, they're vinegary. They're very, very wet. And it, you don't necessarily like that congealing with the cheese. Um, so sure. it, I, it, it is important if we have our way. Let's just <laughs> go with this idea that they're all beautifully baked in later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Oh, Andy Swade, banana peppers for everybody here. Three <laughs> to two, knocking out ham. Uh, we got ground beef versus tomatoes. Ground beef to me feels like the laziest thing you can do with a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know. Can't even I can't imagine. No, 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 no. Talk about. I'll, I'll, t- I'll say this. Yes, it does seem lazy as hell, but having meatballs on a pizza is ground beef. That rules because they usually season them up a little bit. Or if you have those cheeseburger pizzas, those are awesome. I, and I also think of Mexican pizzas, like like a taco pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's all ground beef to me. That's all the same kind of thing. Um, As a topping, ground beef spreads out really nicely yes. across the surface. Uh, and again, people's concern with the sausage in those little fragmented uh, balls, pepperoni, even where you sometimes get a bite with pepperoni, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get a slice with just one pepperoni on it. With right. ground beef, you really can cover the surface, unlike almost any other topping besides cheese. Um, yep. Well, here's the thing. I'm a tomatoes vote. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes? Here, look. Oh, my God. Okay, I, here's the thing. I tomatoes? Are, tomatoes. No, sliced tomatoes are gross. I love tomatoes. Oh. I love them. I think, like, tomatoes are, like, I'll, I'll just grab a tomato off the vine and take a bite of it. I don't care. What? Uh, yeah. yeah right. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I love a tomato. Tomatoes are great. You uh, live a weird life, John. I have handled, <laughs> I've handled a lot more tomatoes than I expected this past few months. I love tomato sauce. I love I love all of that. Now, now every... the byproduct of any tomato. Sure. I think my argument is like I get into fights with people all the time about this aspect of pizza. I, I have people that say that the cheese is what makes a pizza. I think the sauce is what makes a pizza. I, think I have, agree with that. I think you got to have a great awesome tomato sauce on a pizza if it's uh, too sweet if it's too dull if it's not spicy the right way uh, you, you can well, ruin a pizza if you already have the sauce then what's the point of these you know bland r- raw tomatoes oh i think I, that's I, what i think oh so so andrew has mentioned before the the wateriness of toppings and tomatoes are definitely the biggest uh like problem in that department they exactly. they soak down a pizza but i'm willing to deal with it because I, I just think it tastes great i think it tom- here's the thing <laughs> cullen's gonna think I'm disgusting, but I, I, I will oftentimes uh, if I'm by myself ordering a pizza, uh, I don't go the the infamous Boston style pepperoni and pineapple. I either just do pineapple and cheese, or I go pineapple and tomato. Oh, uh, I love it. I just I don't know what it is. I can't. Now, here's explain a quick it. question: Would you eat uh, grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes whole? Would you have those on a pizza? Sure, why not? Oh, wow. <laughs> see, I don't I don't understand. I don't know. Like I, I had those the mirror. Miracle berries, the miracle fruit. I had that and ate a tomato, and that was the best time I've had with a tomato other than a tomato sauce or tomato soup in well, years. When you like, can trick your brain into thinking yeah, it was, was something like, else. This tastes like a straight up sweet ass grape instead so, of a cherry tomato. So I'll say this what got me into liking sliced tomatoes on a pizza is um, like a, it was like, I can't remember it's what place crazy. I had it. But there, well, no, no, no. There was a local place that had a pizza that they put pesto sauce on it. It still had had, it still had tomato sauce as the base, but it had pesto sauce uh, on it as well, and they had tomatoes in with the pesto sauce. It's and very that's, grown up. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. it was an adult pizza. It's yeah. a refined <laughs> taste that maybe <laughs> others don't understand. Well, the parents, the, the parents order when all the kids are ordering their pepperoni pizza. The parents get <laughs> yep. a tomato pizza. I ordered a, a meatball sub once at a very traditional Italian sort of deli in New York, and asked to have sliced tomato, fresh tomato, added onto the meatball sub. And the, the the guy was so outraged and oh, said, wow. ruin a perfectly good meatball sub that he wouldn't do it. And he, he said, you're either going to get the sub the right way or you're not going to get it at all. Wow. What? That's that wow. definitely. That, okay. No, but that's exactly like you. That is definitely. That's how you know it's an authentic Italian place in New York City is if that happens. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. He wasn't happy with my, my ordering style. And, I, and I, I said, okay. And I just took it without the tomatoes. <laughs> right. Well, wow. He knew the way that the tomato would ruin it. I'm a ground beef folk. I vote ground beef too. I expect uh, that's the way it's gonna go. Jesse, my, Jesse, listen okay. to me. Tomatoes hey, are good. Vote tomatoes. So, so here's the thing. Um, I don't think I've ever had ground beef on a on a pizza since you guys oh, are, but- apparently have a bet going on. <laughs> uh, what about tomatoes? But- <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Answer the question. Uh, uh, but my very first experience with tomatoes on a pizza was I was in England at the time. And, uh, oh, I, fancy. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I drove there and, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know what to get on the menu and I just said, hell, pizza, you know, whatever, I'll play it safe. And I got pizza. Uh, the pizza they gave me had no sauce on it. It was just oh, a slice no. of tomato in the center. Oh, no. <laughs> what? It That's was a, a cheese. That's not cheese a pizza. And bread. They played a prank no on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
pulling your seat down uh, out from under you right as you're going to sit down. Like that's. <laughs> um, I having had tomatoes on a pizza, I'm not especially crazy on about it, but I I could try it again. Maybe maybe I'll like it one yeah, day. But just, I'm gonna go get a bag different. of tomatoes right after this show and just eat them. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to throw them at me. Sure, that's Tell too. me to get off the stage. That too. Yes, but tell me that you don't love hamburgers and tacos with that's all the thing. feet on a pizza. Uh, I could see myself enjoying ground beef on a pizza. If all it's right. good, ground beef. So I'm going to go ground beef. Just plunge the knife, Jesse. Don't draw me out like this. Uh, I uh-huh. know I said that ground beef is the laziest thing you can do to a pizza, <laughs> but tomato is one of the worst things you can do to a pizza. <laughs> I'm a ground beef load. It's fine. It's not like it hurts my feelings or anything. <laughs> oh, I don't really care if it hurts your feelings. <laughs> well, looks like ground beef takes out tomatoes four to one. And we have the last one in round one, pepperoni versus anchovy. Hey, oh, uh, so hey, John. Sweet. That's so sweet. John? <laughs> yes. Have you had anchovies before? I haven't. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I, uh... So has has anyone here had anchovies on their pizza before? Yes. Yes, yes. I have. What yeah. did you guys think of it? Well, as it's... my dad, for example, that's his favorite pizza topping. Okay. Hands down, bar none, he wow. would always order anchovy pizza. So, and <laughs> was it a thing where like you were little and he he just gave you a slice with anchovies and you didn't know what was going on? Yeah, essentially, I wanted to try it and I it was. So salty, you know, <laughs> something so salty that actually burns like, yeah. like the pepper. That's how salty it was. My, and my dad put extra salt on it. He's obsessed with salt. And it's actually funny. I never realized this, but the other guy that I, uh, the only other person I've met that only prefers anchovy pizza over all their toppings, he also was so obsessed with salt that he carried around his own salt shaker. Oh wow! Wherever <laughs> he went, so we always had enough salt. He was a guitar player in my band. They were obsessed with the anchovy. I, again, I think it is completely overpowering. I love fish. I like anchovies by themselves. I like sardines. I like tuna. I even like tuna on a pizza, but anchovies are so salty that that to me cuts out the quality uh, of it as a topping. Pepperoni, hands down. So pepperoni to me is like the pizza. Like if you're having a party and like, you know, there's going to be like 10 people over and you're like, okay, I'm going to get pizza. And then if you can't get orders from everybody, you just get a pepperoni pizza. Like child draws this, the archetypal pizza slice. They're going to put round red circles on it. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's definitely true. I, so it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm very curious about anchovies because it's one of those things that you grow up seeing TV makes this big joke. Like, oh, they asked for anchovies on their pizza and it's like the worst thing you could ever do and then when i got older i was like oh man i just realized i actually have no frame of reference for what an anchovy tastes like but if it it sounds like if it just tastes like salt that's not really the thing is it doesn't even have really like a fishy taste it just tastes like salt like i like it, fish if someone told me to put a fish on a pizza no I'd no, say, no, sure, no. It, it does it. not it doesn't taste like like tuna or or, or right. like or anything like a like catfish or anything like that there's no like specific fish quality to it other other than it's kind of a textury thing, but it's also usually dried. Okay. So it's well, mealy. Yeah, it's quite yeah. mealy. So, yeah. well, so here's I, here's the 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 story that I know about anchovies is most people like John said grow up thinking oh anchovies are gross because they say that in like cartoons and stuff but eventually at some point you find out most Caesar salads you've had if they're any good yep. have anchovies in them I started making my own Caesar dressing because I'm wild and insane <laughs> uh, and I I started adding anchovies I'm like well I just want to try one of these things in and of themselves I love anchovies. <laughs> It's this oil, it's this perfect oil and <laughs> saltiness that I personally cannot get enough of. Uh, so I don't know if that means pizza? I'll vote for it over pepperoni. Though. Well, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, it's nice that we gave anchovies a little time, uh, <laughs> but I think I think we all know pizza, or that pepperoni has to move on. Uh, although, before I lock in my vote, I will say, honestly, I think pepperoni makes pizza a little greasier than I'd like. I, like, totally... See, I don't I, get, well, like, I get why you say a little greasier than you like pizza is supposed to have a grease too okay but i but i mean the difference between i don't want to dried up ass husky pizza like i don't (laughs) anyway (laughs) anyway i I don't need cullen to mock me i'm gonna vote for pepperoni uh i (laughs) i've never had anchovies on a pizza i've had pepperoni on a pizza i believe that's six and that means i win Dang. I called the exact number. Oh my god! Um, I I I I don't think I have ever had pepperoni on a pizza and thought, yeah, this improves it. 
Oh, uh, wow. And, all right. All right. All right. All right. It's like, it's like, it's going a dark route. Just get in your votes. <laughs> Seriously. Like I've had pepperoni on pizza so many times. And everyone's just like, just have it. It's, it's good. It, it really it brings out more flavor. And I eat it. And I'm like, this is not that much. This is kind of worse. I don't like you it. Ever eat pepperoni just plain straight out of a bag. Just uh, pepperoni. I don't I think to, I have. I used to. Maybe it's I because I don't have any like frame of reference for what the original taste of pepperoni is. That might be it. Oh man, pepperoni is good. Yeah, I'm a lockdown pepperoni vote easy. Me too. Uh, that's free yeah. for pepperoni. Uh, Jesse, where's your vote? I guess I'll throw one to anchovies. Oh. I'll go anchovy oh. too. Oh, woof. oh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, pepperoni knocks out anchovies. Uh, three to two. So guys, now that we've got all the unimportant stuff out of the way. <laughs> we, can... <laughs> we got, we got some, some shakers here. Uh, we're into round two where we got extra cheese taking on spinach, pineapple versus onions, mushrooms taking on banana peppers and ground beef fighting out pepperoni. So round two begins with extra cheese versus spinach is a, this is an easy one right uh, i mean it? you can i mean i get it i get why you would want to eat pizza and think oh i think i'll add a little bit of spinach to this you know make it taste better <laughs> fucking drink, eat extra cheese get extra cheese i'm gonna yeah. john where's well, your vote? I, I i i think everyone's gonna yell at me i'll give a vote to spinach I, you I know, I've pizza. seen pizzas. If you go to very some very very gourmet places, they almost think of cheese as an afterthought. You, you've seen those pizzas that you can see most of the marinara sauce yeah. peeking up through, and, they just and there's crumble it on. Yeah, like a tiny, like maybe sl- small slices of cheese here and there, and actually quite a lot of spinach or basil and things like that. My mom likes pizzas like that. She hates extra cheese. My dad will order triple cheese, <laughs> where there's so much cheese that you can't even see the crust, and it's just spilling out. It doesn't even cook in the middle. All that uh, um, a divided family. That's a- <laughs> it is, and that's why it's always great because you end up ordering more than one pizza. <laughs> but uh, what, yeah, when it comes to this versus spinach, it's it's hands down extra cheese for me. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, I'm an extra cheese vote. Yeah, yeah nice. extra cheese. Yeah, all right, extra cheese. Whoop, spinach four to one. Pineapple versus onions. I feel like onion is like the dark mirror of pineapple. <laughs> like, like it's a Clefairy and Gengar one, situation. One came here. out of a tree. One came out of the ground. That's true. <laughs> uh, one, pineapple's I, still really cool. So yeah, pineapple is definitely. I mean, yeah, I, I think nothing against onions, but I'm a pineapple vote. I love pineapple. I am also a pineapple vote because onions are disgusting. There's nothing <laughs> wrong with an onion. Colin, Andrew. I don't care. And again, I, I respect everyone else who doesn't feel this way, but I don't care for fruit in, in any savory food. I don't like fruit in salads where you get, you know, a nice kale salad where they say, oh, we're going to throw mango and cranberries in there and a nice Caesar dressing. I don't, what I don't. What like, about an orange? What about an orange oh, salad? No, thank you. I don't like okay. orange chicken at <laughs> Chinese restaurants. I don't, I don't, I want oh, it yeah. okay. all the way savory. So, uh, yeah, I'm voting onion. Uh, I'm going onion as well. It what? is down to Cullen. What? Uh, locking this in. It's a pineapple vote for me, baby. There it is. Sorry, onions. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> pineapple knocks out onions three to two. <laughs> Mushrooms taking on banana peppers. Not oh, a huge boy. fan of either it's, of these. You know, it's respectful that these out. both got here. It's, it's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, boy, oh, boy. I... I, I, want hear, I want to hear if anyone has an argument for either of these, because I don't really know where I'm going to Okay, vote. look. Mushrooms, right? I get that Good the argument, texture Jesse. of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms. What are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> uh, look, I get that the texture of mushrooms can be, like, repulsive. I'm pretty sure the texture of mushrooms is what I enjoy about them so much. And, like, I yes like there's like a there, it's like a weird slimy gross feeling <laughs> they're ten- but this is, this is ten- not a good argument yeah, but yeah, my they're, first they're ten- my yeah. first my first experience with mushrooms was picking them off of a pizza and <laughs> and eating them individually and so i <laughs> oh, went from that i went from that to eating mushrooms on pizza and i think it adds a whole lot to the pizza i i just assume eat mushrooms on a pizza uh way more than banana peppers see i love spicy food and we're not representing any other significantly spicy toppings here Jalapeno is one of my number one toppings, so yeah. I've got to go with the banana pepper here. Even though I love mushrooms, I think it's a classic topping for pizza, but I need that spice. Mm, yeah, that's man. also another thing is that I typically just don't like spicy food. So I, I, you know what? I'm gonna. Oh boy, I I think I'm gonna go 
mushrooms, and I don't have a yeah. lot of reason for it. I kind of just picked one. <laughs> it's the most I'm, flavor, actually, of any, of any of the toppings, I think. Right? Uh, you can't, you can't get banana peppers as an appetizer in restaurants. What do you mean? Are you, as, wait, as, are you ordering wait, an appetizer you never, like, of mushrooms? Mushroom <laughs> <laughs> you've never had an, you've never had mushroom, fried mushrooms as an appetizer. Well, yeah, maybe no. prepared mushrooms in some way, but you could get prepared hot peppers in some kind of way at a. Yeah, you can get stuffed peppers, and those yeah, are jalapeno amazing. poppers. Your poppers, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the appetizers. Andrew brought up a really good point, and here's the thing: I was a mushroom lock-in here, Uh-oh. but he brought up a really good point towards banana. We <sighs> said I had jalapeno in there. This is the most most one with the heat. I'm no, gonna hang go- on, hang on. Vote for jalapeno if jalapeno's on the bracket, but don't vote for banana pepper because you feel <laughs> like you <laughs> miss Colin. Where's your vote? Our heat in man. there. It's got a little tiny little heat in there. It's. I, I'm banana pepper vote. I am as well. Banana pepper moves. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. I don't have a lot of things that I like on this bracket. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take away the one thing that I actually really like. Oh, man. Banana pepper. Pe- broken on this show. That's what happens. Uh-huh. You've got to start liking more stuff. That's the best thing <laughs> to get that from. Believe me, I'm trying. Uh, banana peppers, knockout mushrooms, three to two. Last one in gr- round two, we have ground beef versus pepperoni. Good job, ground beef, getting this far. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John, go ahead and lock this in. Yeah, I, I, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I said my, my, my beef. If you'll excuse the, uh, <laughs> oh, with, <laughs> with pepperoni. I think I, I still don't like the grease it adds to a pizza, but I definitely will take pepperoni over ground beef. That's it's my gotta favorite. be. It's gotta be pepperoni. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, pepperoni. number one pizza topping of all time across the board. Well, whether, that whether, you, whether even you even like it or not, no one can deny its place. So pepperoni. Is that a sweep? No. Oh my God, I'm Jesse! Voting pepperoni. <laughs> Jesse's just against pepperoni here, is what. Because I've had it and it's failed me countless times. It is my star screen to this pizza. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, pepperoni knocks out ground beef four to one, taking it into the semifinals. We have extra cheese versus pineapple and banana peppers versus pepperoni. Okay. So this is one. where <laughs> one of these matchups is difficult. This is where things get bad, and <laughs> this is where people are going to get hurt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's extra cheese against pineapple, right? That's what it all seems so here. easy and fun in that first round. <laughs> we were all friends once. Yeah. Uh, yeah, cheese and pineapple. And John, you got to vote first. Oh boy. Uh, I think. Oh man, but both of these, both of these are going to weigh down your pizza. Uh, sure, that's, if you add something point. to something, it does actually increase. No, the Jesse, don't be a little smartass <laughs> about it. Free. That is a good point, though. The weight. Um, for for me, it has to be pineapple. I I think oh. I think getting extra cheese on a pizza is totally fine. Especially like I said, you get get like a three or a five cheese blend. You get some parmesan on there. There's great cheeses that make a pizza way better. But uh, <laughs> to Andrew's displeasure, I love sweet and savory together. So <laughs> I I respect that. <laughs> I you know this is probably not doing myself any favors. It is possible to add too much cheese on a pizza. Yeah, sure. It's possible. It's possible to add too much of anything to a pizza. Yeah. It's, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm an extra cheese vote. Uh, Colin, where's your vote? Uh, I'm gonna be a pineapple vote. Andrew. I'm going to vote extra cheese, but I just want to say that I, I admit that it's immature that I don't like sweet and savory. But <laughs> well, well, you used to. That's the thing. You used yeah, to. So it's it makes okay. no sense. I, I, I had a Benjamin Button approach to my <laughs> channel. <laughs> Or adventurous when I was younger. I think I saw that one. That was a weird movie where it just like tastes got re- uh, regressed. <laughs> he, he, was, he was born liking prunes, and then yep. when he got older, it was all he's like he's, he's an old man and he's eating taffy. baby food. Yeah, uh, I'm. It's down to me. Uh, it's two to two. I, this is very difficult. Um, I'm sorry, John. I'm extra cheese. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I know John's mad at me. I feel so bad. It, it is a hard one. It is a hard one because, as we said, it's more of a topping that you're already getting. But I, I cannot believe that you've just set us up for a finals of the two. Oh, no. I, <laughs> what you've just I, done. I really expected Boston style to be in the finals here, okay? Uh, <laughs> extra cheese oh. knocks out pineapple. The you, know, you, talk, you talk about bracket-breaking hearts, and then it happens to you. <laughs> and then it's all over. <laughs> So, we're at the bottom of the semifinals, banana peppers and pepperoni. Okay, everyone should be ashamed of themselves for getting banana peppers this far. Well, come <laughs> on. Uh, go ahead, John. I'm a pepperoni vote. 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm a pepperoni. What <laughs> is the appeal of pepperoni? What does that bring to pizza? I don't. You got a meat and a spice. What more do you want? Yeah, it's seasoned. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's the thing. Like, it's not just all these other meats. They don't. They don't marinate. They're, they're not like prepared a certain way. It's just me, this pepperoni. There's enough flavor has- in in a pizza that the bread, the sauce, and the cheese mix together so well that I don't need a, a meat and a spice on top of it. That's, uh, that's your place. problem. You do need them. <laughs> and the thing, the pepperoni, also, it's like it's like a form factor thing, Jesse. It's just these thin little slices that like just rest all comfy cozy in the cheese. Yeah, but that's another thing, is that sometimes I'm taking a bite out of pizza and I got a little bit of pepperoni, and sometimes I took a bite and it's a whole slice of pepperoni Ain't in my mouth. Nothing and wrong like, with that's that. a poorly made pizza. That's all that is. <laughs> You said earlier, it's like walking on a minefield made of pepperoni. <laughs> you said earlier you can put too much stuff on a pizza. You cannot put enough pepperoni on a pizza. Uh, I no, disagree you can with put that. Too much pepperoni. No, I get a little, I'll get a pepperoni lovers from pizza. No, because then all so, you would taste is pepperoni. Jesse, are you a banana pepper vote then? That's the thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pepperoni. I'm pepperoni. I'm pepperoni, but I would be very happy with banana pepper and cheese only. I mean, I, I, I would be almost equally happy, but out of respect for the classical pizza tradition, as we all knew this was going to go this way, of course, <laughs> I'm voting pepperoni. Yeah, I, I'm a pepperoni here. I think I will be a banana pepper vote. And out the reason spite. why. Bite? <laughs> the, no, the reason why is I think it would be a pretty fun time to watch me eat a banana pepper and then uh, have a real bad time on the ground because well, we I can't eat a pizza. For the, we don't need a pizza for that. We can just yeah. feed you bananas. <laughs> it's not that spicy. Also. Yeah, it's not like that. Okay, it's not yeah, like fair enough. Eat. I'm I'm trying to compare it in my head to when I like ate pure cap or something. So no, it, it, no it's, it's no. about as spicy as eating a black peppercorn. Oh, oh yeah, yeah just bad. vinegar. There's vinegar in it. All right, pepperoni rolls over banana pepper four to one. We're into the bronze match, guys. Pineapple versus banana pepper. I I just want to say I'm so disappointed in Greg. Why? All right, come on. I'm a pineapple vote. (laughs) I'm also a pineapple vote, John. Wow. I'm going to be a pineapple vote. Oh, there it is. I'm up. a pineapple sorry. vote. Whoa. <laughs> sorry, Andrew. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the bronze match. It's just determining who goes in third and fourth place. And and pineapple oh. is apparently taking third place over banana pepper. I got seared there for a second. I thought that was the number one choice. No, 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 no. no. Um, so what was my choice for that bronze Pineapple uh, or pineapple banana or pepper? Man. Oh, uh, banana pepper. Yeah. There All it is. right. The, the ghost is. of pineapple just haunted Andrew this entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because I, I it's very odd to have liked it so much, and I do feel like it, it resents me a bit in a way or that I let it down somehow by abandoning it. <laughs> do you still like pineapple, just not with anything else? Uh, yes, I like the idea of it, although I can't imagine any situation in which I would end up eating it. Okay, uh-huh. okay. All right. Well, pineapple takes third place with banana peppers getting knocked out four to one we're into the finals and it ended this way because I, of gross. yeah here it is it's like we're at our first grade slumber party all over again <laughs> here's we, the we, thing we the reason having... i did that is because i think extra cheese might be the best pizza topic we could have we could Greg's have reached a place language. where bracket was voting a unique topping forward but greg decided <laughs> no no let's, let's, i think let's extra go. cheese is a non-obvious winner well, our finals are extra cheese versus pepperoni. John? <laughs> All right, so hear me out. Okay, I'll hear you out. All right, you, re- you got you got bread. You got that nicely cooked bread. And you got yep. that crust at the end. The crust is just perfect. Okay. And then you put on the tomato sauce, right? Okay. The tomato sauce is And then you get to stop crafted. right there. I'll just eat that. I'll just dip some bread <laughs> right, in tomato Right, no, right, sauce. that's good. You dip bread in tomato sauce, that's good. <laughs> but, then, but then you cook cheese on top of it, and you're like, Oh, that's so good. I'm going to have some more. And then you put more cheese on it, and it's even better. Okay. And that's it. You're done. You made a but perfect. The, but the, the missing part is meat. <laughs> yeah, meat. It makes it a meal. Yeah, yeah. This is that, That's an appetizer is what you're telling me, Jesse. That's <laughs> bread sticks, Jesse. I don't need, I don't need sticks, more Jesse. meat in that's my diet. Let's go to a steakhouse and order I will take a any a dish. Meal. <laughs> Don't go to a steakhouse and get a baked potato, a side of green beans, and asparagus, <laughs> and a nice glass of red wine. And then they say, and well, how would you like to say, oh, no, no, that's that's it. Unless you're vegetarian. Now, is, is anyone here vegetarian, by the way? No. I tried. <laughs> I can't oh, yeah, say yeah. I am. But. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love both of these toppings, but now we're getting into a... 
a situation where it's with logic where we already have something. Do we add more of what we already have or do we add something that we don't already have? And I do agree as what, with what you said earlier that for pizza purists, I believe they would prefer to judge a pizza with just cheese, sauce, and dough. Mm-hmm. And I don't think they would want pepperoni on there at all. Um, for, just like I, if you were a bourbon drinker, you wouldn't want a mixed drink. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, think, I, no. I lived in New York, uh, for three years and some change. And, uh, there they just throw pepperoni at you all day. No, no, no. I mean, it's, <laughs> and uh, honestly, it was the obvious for me, or it was the, it was the opposite for me. I would, it's, I would go into, uh, these little, little tiny local pizza joints and I would just get two giant New York slices of just plain cheese. And then I would take them over to the table and load them up with Parmesan and, uh, red pepper flakes. Parmesan is extra cheese, John. That's true. I, you're, yes, you're, you're not wrong. Uh, uh here, I was in New York back in February and I had a blast and I went to this hole in the wall. You're right. Little, a little pizza joint, 99 cent pizza. It was great. Uh, you get a can soda, two slices of cheese for 250. It was awesome. And, uh, I I was a little disappointed only because it was really good pizza. It was really fast pizza. But again, I had to load it up with stuff in order for me to care more about it than if I had just added well, that's, that's that. That's just you bringing your own pepperoni you, into it. You bringing your yeah, own baggage right. to the equation. That's what I'm man. saying. I think there should have been a pepperoni. I think I think all pizza I eat, period, should have a pepperoni. That's John. your default starting point. Yeah, I think I think I think the cheese pizza with pepperoni automatically is my is my beginning that's it and, any more to- like and if you're adding toppings you're adding them to a pepperoni cheese pizza yes absolutely and i think at that point it's pineapple after that so uh it's boston style all the way for me right now but uh, john i need a vote i really don't want to vote first man you this hot to it is excruciating right now. <laughs> the way you i gotta see it, add you add something as strong a flavor as pepperoni you're the type of person who doesn't mind just unloading dump trucks of food in her mouth and not actually understanding what's going in there. Hey, not hey, processing Jesse, all of it. Jesse, have you met Cullen? Yeah, you know who oh. I am? Yeah. Uh, I need a vote, John. This hot seat is burning me. This is Make bad. Make it happen, John. Um... Yeah, I didn't see. I did not see this being my vote for the finals. Boo! You don't know what I, it could <laughs> He's be. He's voting cheese, y'all. I, He's I have said bad things against pepperoni this entire episode. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm an extra cheese vote. Yeah, I I'm know. Also, don't an worry. extra cheese vote. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm a, then that's it. Uh, I'm a pepperoni vote. You are fools. I'm pepperoni too. I can't. It's, it's so, so obvious. Yeah, Jesse, I, it's down I, to you. Jesse, <laughs> this, is, this is messed up, Jesse. Because you this, know- is, this is everyone's chance. If you want to sway Jesse to determine what the best pizza topping is, now is your chance. You're a fool. The Never way won't. I see it, the way I see it, if you go into a party, you got 30, 40 plus people at this party. That's a you're small ordering, party. Okay, sorry. <laughs> 200 people at the party in your mom's house. And No, don't invite 200 people to your mom's house. What are you thinking, you crazy this person? Is your party. <laughs> this is Jackie's party. <laughs> My mom uh, would have bad or, words to say. We invited two hundred people to her house. Uh, if you order how many pizzas, you don't. There's no way you can get everyone's inc- all encompassing uh, favorite, you know, ingredients on a pizza. Right. Uh, so you divide like it up fifty. You divide up fifty fifty. Half pepperoni, half cheese. That's what you do. No, no, no. You go to Little Caesars, five dollar hot and ready pepperoni pizzas. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> It's already in the. It's already ready to go, man. Jesse, I need a vote. You know how many people are out there? If you get a cheese, you have to wait for them to make it because it didn't have pepperoni. Jesse, that's a very good point. That's a good point. If if, if a place like Little Caesars, if their default setting for a pizza is pepperoni, that tells you a lot right there. Yeah, it tells me that they're traitors. Uh, Oh, you're 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 a fool. You're a fool. What are you gonna do for all the people out there who don't eat meat? What are you gonna do for all the people out there who? Jesse, literally I need a, enjoy a an extra vote. cheese pizza. You <laughs> run out of food, extra cheese going in your mouth. Who? What are you gonna do about the pizza with pepperoni? <laughs> it's we the all... best topping. It has to be. The, it's the best topping. It can't be the best Already thing because you don't like meat. Oh, you no. can't order the extra cheese pizza at Little Caesars. This you is can't. why. <laughs> this is why. I, I did not. Little love. Caesars is oh. the number one standard that all of this should be based on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, I wish I could change my vote. I, I would change my vote right now. Oh, I, 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 call me Chinese Brutus. I'm extra cheese. 
That's it. That locks it in. Oh, no. You just yelled at Greg for not voting for pineapple, and then you screwed everyone here. Extra cheese is now the number one pizza topping on bracket. Pepperoni is second place. <laughs> I can't believe that. I, I agree. Second place is pepperoni. Pineapple is third, and banana peppers are dirty toilet water. So <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone out there, that John is a Whoa. traitor. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> you, you, set this up. you did all of this. Excuse me. How am I taking the blame for this? Because you said yourself, I would have changed my vote if I could. That's true. But you that's did not, say that. Okay. Yeah. That's but a oh, how are Greg and Jesse not? <laughs> I never in a million years would have imagined that this, the most, the, almost, almost a non-topping, here's was the, thing. the number one. Here's here's the thing. Uh, I'm not a traitor because I didn't want to change my vote until I heard all the evidence, and the evidence swayed me. But the evidence was after my vote. You just you just jumped on in with your voting, and uh, that's, that's I don't. You have hey, no you, no. I thought my fault. Traitor, uh, it's right before fault. That. Okay, here's so, my thinking. Do you know why they charge for extra cheese? Because if you could get it for free, you would. No question. Okay, There's no one in the world point. who would turn down extra cheese. And you know what? Exactly. One, one, another good thing we can say is that everybody here would be happy eating this extra cheese pizza as the number one. It's an all-inclusive pizza. You ain't that's leaving true. out anyone. That's true. So maybe that's the spirit that we were all tapping into. It's there the spirit go. of anger coming from me right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, thank you, Andrew, for coming on this week. Oh, that was a pleasure. I'm just really, really hungry for pizza. Right. I, everyone listening to this is just going to go out and get pizzas. From Little Caesars. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, yeah, you got anything going on? Yeah, you want to throw your Twitter out there and stuff for people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, everything.com slash Andrew WK. So YouTube.com slash Andrew WK, Facebook, Twitter. What else? Uh, Instagram, etc. So uh, I'm playing shows. I'm, you know, all I'm doing is partying. Whenever anyone asks me to plug anything, like, what do you have going on? It's like the same thing I've always had going on. Just endless, twenty four seven, three hundred and sixty five days a year partying. That's and you do it with extra and, cheese. And, oh, and, and, yeah, and, and and a lot of it is pizza partying. And, and this was <laughs> really encouraging in that regard. Sometimes you want to have those uh, desires reinforced and supported. So thank you for that. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. All right. We, yeah. Well, like, again, thank you for coming on this week. Uh, and uh, anybody got anything going on? Anybody? Anybody? Nothing? Nothing? Nope. Okay. I'm going to eat. I'm going to I'm gonna make my own pizza after this. Uh, all <laughs> you right. Made, you made the dough from scratch? I'm going to make, uh, it's going to be, I'm going to do, I'm going to make a pizza, but it's none of these ingredients. I'm going to make my own pizza and make new ingredients that people like more than any of these. So you're going like to make a cracker pizza. with. It's going to be like, it's going to be like <laughs> banana oh, and, boy. and. Uh, <laughs> yep. Kool-Aid powder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can find the recipe for all of John's new pizza at BracketPodcast.com, on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram as BracketCast. If you like, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or wherever podcast client you do use. Just search for Bracket. Hey, everybody. Greg here with the Patreon update. Thank you so much for sticking with us through uh, some, some rocky times now and some rocky times ahead. Uh, John is cranking every single thing he has into finishing up a student project it's a short animated film uh and he's very nearly literally killing himself so if everybody wants to go ahead and send john some well wishes or some uh twitter hugs i don't know whatever do it do your thing i don't know make john feel better is the message here brackets brought to you this week by nick driver jeff chriswell steve polenterudi brandon keiko zeppa wolf will kislaka mitch albright kayla smith anarchy marie gx barnett and michael zavala these guys are the ones who make bracket a thing that can be done for the rest of you so everybody go ahead and thank nick driver thank jeff criswell thank steve politeruti good friend of mine thank brandon thank keiko thanks zeppa wolf zeppa wolf go ahead and thank zeppa wolf will Kislaka, mitch albright kayla smith anarchy marie thank those people thank gx barnett and you know what why not thank michael zavala too all right thank you guys uh for listening and let's wrap up the show leave us a review telling us how wrong we were or you know your favorite pizza topping we want to know what your kind of pizza is specialty What's the weirdest pizza you've ever had uh, it's gonna i'm gonna make it like it's gonna have it's gonna have like fruit by the foot in the crust <laughs> It's like stuff. It's like stuffed crust, but it's gonna be yeah. like fruit by the foot in there. There's gushers of- in there. Yeah, <laughs> gusher oh. stuffed crust. Next week we'll be giving out one box of fruit by the foot. So see you guys then. <laughs>
doing a professional radio show on the internet.